hi you guys hello family and welcome to a whole new video welcome back to my channel my name is Yombai. thank you guys so much for tuning in um let's just get right into it my face shows the title of the video show so i got chicken pox guys and yeah this is the aftermath middle myth i don't know i'm way better now but yeah this thing is all over and it was just just one of those experiences that i did not expect and yeah i just want to share with you guys what went on and tips guys tips for when you get chicken pox because wow so yeah guys i got the chicken pox i'm not sure when but i started by getting headaches and dizziness and a very very sore throat and i thought i was getting the flu so i i didn't think it was important to go to the doctor or anything because i thought i'd get better but with time it got worse and worse and i actually did have like some blisters on my chest but i thought i thought it was this perfume that i sprayed directly on my body that that gave me the blisters but i was wrong so when it started getting bad like the headaches and the dizziness and i went to the doctor unfortunately the first doctor did not diagnose um it as chicken pox he was like ah it's some allergic uh, dermatitis or something but i at this point i was convinced it was chicken pox so i when i went for a second opinion the other doctor actually confirmed that i had chicken pox so yeah i took the medication and stuff and when you hear chicken pox guys you think it's just you know scratching oh it's just having hey oh, i fought for my life honestly it was really painful like apart from the scratching the these blisters and stuff were really painful and i also had this all over my head like right now i've got this all over my head this is actually color my lotion that i've been applying that i was applying on my head because it was so painful it was so painful and then it was so itchy and then i had dizzy spells which i i'm still getting but it's now very much better i also had headaches which were unbearable i also had sore throats and apparently chicken pox also attacks your mouth so i also had some on my neck on my throat so it was difficult to swallow anything it was difficult to eat it was just bad guys it was bad but yeah i'm now better i'm now much better i'm going back to work tomorrow i'm not so much worried about the scars i think i mean it bothers me that i now have all this i mean after having achieved somewhat of a glowy face and skin i now have all this to worry about and this is like all over except for my lower um except for my knees down to my feet i didn't get any pox there but everywhere else i am like this and these are actually drying out this is better than what i have here i think because i don't know maybe because of the moisture and stuff but yeah guys um if you get these symptoms if you get sick just go to the doctor because i feel like if i had gone earlier and gotten the antiviral um medication quicker maybe i wouldn't have it wouldn't have gotten this bad it wouldn't have been this bad but here we are i've been at my sister's the whole time she has been doctoring very well <laughs> i've been spoiled i've been you know in bed and stuff and stuff and yeah i'm all better now so today we just want i'm accompanying her to get some of the decor pieces for her house whilst i also the, see the public's reaction to my face because people will stare guys and yeah i'm confident and all that but sometimes you know some watch ish but ish but so i want to try to get some sort of makeup or something on my face just to cover up the spots and you know feel good myself and then we'll see if i are guys i've not been vlogging this is like the first time i'm picking up the camera in a week so today will probably there will be the whole vlog and i'm just going to post my chicken pox experience but yeah guys if you get sick please go to the doctor and get treated quickly before things escalate before things get really bad like they ended up getting for me i could know yeah uh, chicken pox guys 
I know I, it's not easy. It's not. They say it's very difficult. It's very painful when you get when you're an adult, and that's very true. So I hope you don't get it. If you haven't gotten it, just don't get it like at all, at all. Just stay immune or whatever. But yeah, my sister also got it, and my niece. But it was very mild. They. She obviously had the scratching in her head and she has a few spots like she has this the 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 nice spots the oh I had chicken pox spots not these this ones like, am I lying? <laughs> not these ones that I got like <laughs> but yeah guys uh color my lotion helped me. I also got this Deva coat cream that I was using and I also got some pills and some painkillers and that helped me now i'm all better it's day seven it's today today's day seven from the time that i realized that i actually had chicken pox so i'm sure i'm no longer contagious i can go back to work i can work i i want to be useful again and yeah let's try to beat this face okay hey, let's not say beat it. let's try to do something to this face Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment. Thank you guys for watching my adverts, by the way. I'm seeing the chiche coming in. Thank you guys for watching. Please keep watching the adverts on my videos. It really helps me a lot. And let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is the final. I'll moisturize my lips and that's it. There's nothing else I can do. <sighs> guys, we're now in the night side. Pray for me that I don't have FOMO because I didn't bring any money and I have no deco plans. But yeah, this one is tempting me, so pray for me. Pray for me that I don't get caught up. I almost didn't come with it because I've a slayer by chain and tanga and now chain I almost bailed out. But yeah, we are here.
guys, we are done with Grey Night Side. We are done. We are not done, but. <laughs> As you know, we are not done, but we got some really, really nice stuff. I ended up getting a vase. Can I even reach? I can't reach. But, guys, you should come to Grey Night Side for all your, you know, nice deco stuff. Look at these things. I'll show you when we get home. Like the proper, proper hole. But we got some, she got some really nice stuff in it's not mine. So yeah, now you bought. Where I bought a vase. I only bought one vase. And you didn't have money. Uh, yes, but I gave you the money for the vase. Okay, how much? I gave you ten dollars. <laughs> My aging. Learn more than ten dollars more. Let's bang. I'm sick and poor. Ah, But sal it's salary week, so it's fine. Anyways, we have salary day. We are going to Mount Pleasant. Okay, so now we're going to Mount Pleasant. The ice cream. Okay. I want ice cream and then pass by creamy in. Yes, so we'll pass by creamy in and I'll get some ice cream. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, we got ice cream, caramel drip, and nuts. I'd never had this before, but I like nuts, so why not? I'm going to copy. Oh, <laughs> are you not the one who's driving? <laughs> the girls that came in are on the way, rude, both of them. The one who served us, Ashi, when we paid was rude. And the one who gave us, Atanganti Paisa Malasin, Tukasa, and the one who said, No, it's just one in the man now, Tukasa, to both. Can I see the receipt? We missed the energy. <laughs> uh, we are always ready, young. <laughs> As a family, we are always ready. I will not have no trouble, I'm back. Ah, you are always ready, too. Mm. Mm. Comments on my ice cream, please. Very good. At least you've taught me something new. Mm. Head northwest on the chase toward Groombridge Road. Is why it's is it called what's what's it called? Upeka. 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 I don't know. Upeka. Upeka. <laughs> they have beautiful stuff, but yeah, we were looking for a mirror, and the mirror is two hundred dollars and it's a bit pricey. But so I have to go to Tenga Mira Masodi. I had a good dry now, did that in that Pongwaka. I'm sure I can find it for a cheaper price. Me and Nongwafa Maastricht. Give me two days, I will find the mirror for you. So I'm going to find the mirror because. But if you are if you are rich, rich and you've got the Mula, phone number 170 the chase and 170 the chase. They've got nice stuff. I need my baskets, I need my plants and stuff, but you know, do I have no do I have no shower? Well, it's not expensive as such as if you compare it with other yeah, stores. Yeah, if you compare they with other stores. Stuff, stuff with other yeah. In Nango, so, expensive is relative. For me, in my household, it's very expensive. <laughs> we will not be buying anything from this place. We will go right outside our way into our home. And you will find mirrors in the I want to have $15 yeah. for you. See, they don't even think that I want to. In 200 but meters, turn left onto Waller Avenue. Uh, a better mirror for this one. Mm. And then we'll see. Oh. 
Take the next left onto Waller Avenue.